New tonight, Rockford Public Schools say that a student manipulated a district website and made it look like a staff member posted a racial slur on the system that is used by students and parents. News 8's Amanda Porter spoke with the superintendent of Rockford Public and the principal of the high school about what happened. Amanda. District officials told me they are investigating to find out which student manipulated code on Schoolology, the website, and then posted it to social media. This post, containing a racial slur used against African Americans, has been circulating around Rockford Public Schools. And the picture uh, was alarming because, as you said, it contained a, a phrase that was very offensive. And so uh, this morning about 6.30, I, I sent the, the email to Mr. Hosford and said, uh, you, you know, we need to investigate this. The post appeared to come from Rockford High School's assistant principal, Eric Cavalli. Our, our employee did not do that. And we were able to confirm that via um, some investigation, investigation work with our technology department and uh, the archived messages within our, our uh, message system. Um, and then quite frankly, um, you know, he's an incredible human being and would never do something like that. Principal of Rockford High School, Tom Hosford, began talking to students. We had some students that were coming to us saying, you know, this is out there. And I, I applaud our students for doing that, letting us know, um, because they know that that's highly inappropriate as well. Hosfer told me and showed me how students were able to manipulate the message on a school website called Schoology, which is for students, parents, and staff. Maybe even two months ago, which is what we believe happened. And now it's just coming out on social media. And then they took a screenshot of that and then posted it to Snapchat? That's what we believe. Yep, that's when we became aware of it. Uh, uh, parents uh, rightly were alarmed if this was true, and so they sent it to us. Uh. Dr. Matthews reiterates the archived messages show the staff member did not post the racially insensitive message. I uh, talked to students, and they were able to, to help us uh, learn uh, what they were able to do uh, uh, with uh, some of the social media sites and and, uh, and quite frankly, it's uh, a little bit alarming. And so we're working with our tech department to try to close that loophole so that it uh, won't be able to be done in the future. In, in everyday dealings with our youth, um, there, there's, there's lapses in judgment. And yeah, it starts off as this might be funny. And, um, and it definitely is not funny. And like I said, we, we hope to find who this person is and, um, and have them realize how inappropriate that was. Superintendent Matthews and Principal Hosford have a message to share with the Rockford community. You know, we, we take these things seriously. And, and if something like that had been posted, we would have acted appropriately with that employee. But uh, we were pretty confident that knowing this employee, that wasn't uh, uh, who he was. If you're living in a community um, and, and you see something like that that comes out from a school and, and you say, that just doesn't seem right, the best course of action would be to contact the school and say, I think you guys need to look into this because, because we want our community to know that, that uh, we want to be part of the community and want to support the community. And when things like this happen, it's an attempt to try to tear us apart and drive wedges and a message for students. So we're just gonna continue to stress with our student body, um, be inclusive, be supportive, uh, do the positive thing. Stop for one second before you hit send. Rockford Public Schools also sent an email to parents. We have more information posted online at woodtv.com. Brian.